Okay, after citing the Gesenius well-known Hebrew grammar, after citing that grammar, which indicates or refers to the Mesha or Moabite stoned, that on that stone, the final He of the divine name, Yod, He, Wa, He, last letter, is used. Okay, it indicates that on that stone, the final hay is employed as an indication of a final O sound. Let me repeat that. After citing the Hebrew grammar of Gesenius, which indicates that on the mesh or mobite stone mentioned above, which I just showed you, that it mentioned earlier the final, which indicates that on the mesh or mobite stone mentioned earlier, the final hay is employed as an indication of a final O sound, not ah. Remember, we're talking about the final hey. Yod, hey, one, two, wa, three, hey. After that grammar, now the way I'm wording this introductory sentence is a little tough, but just I'm going to break it down. After a person I'm going to quote in a minute cites that grammar, that well-known Hebrew grammar by Gesenius, which indicates that on the Moabite stone I just showed you from the 9th century, the final hey, the final letter of the divine name, indicates an O sound. D. D. Luckinbill, after referring to the Gesenius grammar, which says that on the Moabite stone, the final letter of the divine name represents an O sound. D. D. Luckinbill, in his article in the American Journal of Semitic Languages, Pronunciation of the Name of the God of Israel, writes this. He cites that grammar which says the final hey represents an O sound. And then he writes, I believe that the presence of the final hey, Yod, hey, Wa, hey, that fourth letter in the four letter form of the divine name. Luckinbill after citing Gesenius, stating that that fourth letter represents an O sound, says he believes the final hey in the name in the Mesha Moabite inscription does make the pointing of this name an imperfect verb, verb ending in E, Yahweh, questionable, if not highly improbable. I might even go further than that, but... And then he states, a final he, when used as a vowel letter, in this inscription seems to stand invariably for an O, not an E. Eh. 